The ant works hard in the withering heat all summer long, building his house and laying up supplies for the winter. The grasshopper thinks the ant is a fool. He laughs and dances and plays the summer away. When winter arrives, the shivering grasshopper calls a press conference and demands to know why the ant should be allowed to be warm and well-fed while others are cold and starving. All the television networks show up to provide pictures of the shivering grasshopper next to a video of the ant in his comfortable home with a table filled with food. America and other nations are stunned by the sharp contrast. How can this be? that in a country of such wealth, this poor grasshopper is allowed to suffer so. Kermit the Frog appears on Oprah with the grasshopper, and everybody cries when they sing, It's not easy to be green. Acorn stages a demonstration in front of the ant's house, where the news stations fill the group singing, We shall overcome. Reverend Jeremiah Wright then has the group curse God for the grasshopper's sake. Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid exclaim in an interview with Larry King that the ant has gotten rich off the back of the grasshopper, and both call for an immediate tax hike on the ant to make him pay his fair share. Finally, the EEOC drafts the Economic Equality and Anti-Grasshopper Act, retroactive to the beginning of the summer. The ant is fined for failing to hire a proportionate number of green bugs, and having nothing left to pay his retroactive taxes, His home is confiscated by the government green czar. The story ends as we see the grasshopper finishing up the last bits of the ant's food. While the government house he is in, which just happens to be the ant's old house, crumbles around him because he doesn't maintain it. The ant has disappeared in the snow. The grasshopper is found dead in a drug-related incident in the house. Now abandoned, is taken over by a gang of spiders who terrorize the once peaceful neighborhood.